In this video, I want to show how to write Quarkus command mode applications or Quarkus main applications that run in a somewhat standalone way without any networking. This is really helpful to write some tools or standalone things that, for example, run in a scheduled uh, job that we can run on a server or as a command line tool because it's very easy to set up and we can use the same techniques that we know from enterprise Java. So for this, we only need a Maven project or a Quarkus project that uses, first of all, this uh, Quarkus arc dependency. So it's very, very basic. And what we can do, then we can write um, a class that, for example, we call Java main or something like this that implements this Quarkus application. And with this, it just calls this run application that then, well, can do something. So for example, this is already enough to just invoke uh, some, something like Hello World. The nice story about that is that now we can use the same Quarkus mechanisms for the Quarkus Maven plugin that we know and that we like as developers. So what we have to do once we annotate this with, uh, with Quarkus main, that this becomes basically the main application or the main um, a starting point that runs our application so we can, for example, invoke something here and run this as a Quarkus app. Okay, for this, what we do, we can just build uh, the project using Maven and then we can execute this in a standalone jar. So that's uh, quite helpful, I think, already because it's easier to configure in the Maven way. We, for example, say target Quarkus app and then Quarkus run. Java-jar and basically we start this as a Quarkus app as you can see it says hello world it does something and then exit again so this is already I think uh, quite helpful to do well an arbitrary work but of course now you might argue I could just have a um, public static void main instead well yes of course where this approach I think really shines is if we have some sort of standalone application that at least does a little bit of work where you feel more comfortable using the Java Enterprise programming model. For this, for example, what it can do is you can call uh, Quarkus wait for exit, where this then will just keep running and waits for um, um, a termination signal. And then what we can do, we can set up some other beans that, for example, run in a scheduled way. So let's say we would like to have some uh, standard out logger that just runs as an application scoped bean and then uses some uh, scheduled uh, way. Uh, for example, for this, we would need to add a dependency scheduler update this here so it adds scheduled with every let's say two seconds and then it just prints something such as local daytime something like this that then we can run also the nice story about this as we probably can guess we can also use the dev mode here, which I think just increases the developer experience because then this just keeps running and this also works here for the standalone or main application. So it now prints hello world. As you can see, it keeps running. It prints uh, this one. And then as usual, uh, we can change something here. And then for this, for example, you can uh, press S to reload and then you can see the changes here being reflected. So I think this is just really uh, helpful in that regard to write up um, some tools or some standalone applications where you don't really need the usual Quarkus way to, for example, listen to some HTTP port, but just in order to do some job. For example, you can um, combine this with a scheduled job that uh, just checks for some uh, preconditions. You can run this on the server that then sends out some notifications such as some emails. Quarkus also has some email integration. And in general, I, I think it's just once we get used to the enterprise Java way of doing things, it's more convenient to use the same programming model up to write applications in such a way. So let's build this. Just in the same way as before, we can say Maven uh, clean package, please uh, build it. Then it would run in the same way using also 
um, the Quarkus way of printing out uh, things here. So it will use the spanner. If you don't um, like all of the information here, you could even go and then change the properties. So for example, to dis disable the banner there, you could even go further and say, please um, change the logging here so that this information is not uh, being logged. So let's do this. Let's rebuild and start our application here. And then we will see the same way with our standalone jar. Again, I think this is just a very helpful way for some tools. And for me, that's even more productive than writing uh, a main because then with main, you also need to set up your Maven project in the way that produces the standalone jar. And you only, only have the standard uh, Java um, capabilities available. So if you're an enterprise Java developer, I think this is a little bit more convenient. So that is the way how you can use this command mode uh, in the Quarkus main way. If you then would take it further and write some sort of command line application that also uh, needs to be changed with some um, arguments that it can provide, either you use the standard um, um, capabilities from Java to then read the arguments or you use uh, this Pico CLI um, tool that is also has an integration uh, with Quarkus. You can check out the guides for that as well. And I hope this was helpful. If so, I would really appreciate a like and thanks a lot for watching.